that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Well, hi there, YouTube. I'm back again for another How to Play video. And today I'm going to teach you how to play Bluey Shadowlands board game. This is for two to four players ages three plus and the first thing i'm going to show you is how to set up the game because it can be a bit cumbersome you're going to get this plastic piece right here and then you're going to get this and it's got the three circles on the outside and you're going to line those three circles up with the three circles that are right there now you would expect it to click in it will not actually click in just like what you're going to do next is you're looking at the four circles around the outside you're going to place this on top of that once again it will not click in then you take this palm tree which is two parts put this on top Stick that in there, and you've set up the board. The next thing you're going to do is make sure that everyone picks out whichever character they would like to play as, and everyone's going to start at the start spot. So we've set up a three-player game. Any additional components can go back into the box. Next, you're going to make sure that everyone can reach these cupcake cards right here, and then the last player to eat a cupcake is going to get the spinner, and you are ready to start the game. Now, the object of the game is to get all the way to the finish line first with five cupcake cards. So let's talk about what you're going to do on your turn. It's really quite simple. First thing, you're going to spin the spinner. If it lands on a line, spin it again until it doesn't land on a line. And there's only really two things on here. There's the colors, and then there's the palm tree. If you land on a color, you will move to the next colored cloud of that space. So for instance, if we landed on pink, we would go right here, and our turn would be over. We would... So now we pass the spinner to the player on the left, because it will go clockwise around the table the entire game. They're going to spin the spinner, and let's pretend that they get white. So if they get white, they would go to the next white cloud, which would be right here. And you'll see it has a cupcake on it. That means that this player gets to take a cupcake, put it in front of them, and they now have this cupcake for the rest of the game. Also note, it's okay if players are on the same space as other players. Now that we've talked about the colors, let's talk about the two palm trees right here. They both work the same way. If you get on a palm tree, what you're going to do is first put your hands down pretty firmly on the center, and then you're going to turn it clockwise one click. Now, it doesn't always work perfectly, but if you press down and get a little bit of a practice, it should work. But really, what you really want is to make sure that you can see all the different arrows inside of the shadows. This is tricky even for adults. But what you're going to do now is look at the special spot in front of you and see if it's a shadow. If it's a shadow, then you get to move to the next shadow. And then you get to move to the next shadow. But now we've come to a yellow light, which once again, we want to avoid the light. So which means we go back to the last shadow. And now this is our position on the board. And to clarify, only the player who has the spinner, and it's their turn, is the one that's going to be able to move forward. This character would not also get to move up here. Just to clarify this, I want to show you one more example. So let's pretend that this pink dog started here, and they happen to also turn this once, click it, and this is what they got. Well, they would move to the first one and say, oh, it's a green arrow going this way, arrow going this way, arrow going this way, arrow going this way. Arrow going this way, arrow going this way, arrow going this way. Holy moly, arrow going this way. Uh, and then finally, they would now get to, it's not quite in place, but this yellow one. So they would stop right here. But you can see they could make a huge jump potentially. But before you pass that spinner, look for one more thing, which is to see if there's a cupcake on any one of these three spots. Because when you spin the board, cupcakes might appear in these slots right here. And if it does, then you guessed it, you gain a cupcake card. So that's what you're going to do on every single turn, but let's talk about how you win the game. And that is to get to the finish line up here with at least five cupcakes. If you ever get to this point right here and you don't have five cupcakes, then you immediately go down this path and then to whatever space you were supposed to be on. So let's just say, for instance, this pink dog right here spins a white but only has four cupcakes. That would mean that she would move doom doom, but then she would slide down and then go to the next white space right here. Now, in that same example, if she did have five cupcakes, then instead she would go to the next white, which would be right here, which means she's super close to winning the game. But last but not least, let's talk about how the finish area works. So we'll go back to this pink dog right here, and we'll show you a couple examples. If she got white, there's no white in front of her. She would get to the finish line and win the game as long as she had five cupcakes. Back again, same thing with pink, she would get to the finish line. Blue, no blue, finish line. If she got an orange, she would go to this space right here. And if she got a palm tree, she would spin this one time, but then she would look at the next special spot in front of her, which is the finish spot. And since that's a shadow, she would go straight there. But the first person to get to the picnic with five cupcakes will be the winner of Bluey the Shadowlands board game. If this helped you out, please consider giving it a thumb. That really helps me out. And also, if you enjoy learning games, please be sure to click on that subscribe button because I teach games all the time. But go have some fun, and thanks for your time, YouTube.